Within SQL, we can use window functions to perform a calculation across a set of related rows. And window functions are somewhat similar to how we use group by. So with group by, what we're doing is grouping data together and then aggregating by those groups, so like summing or averaging, it's gonna reduce the number of rows. A window function is somewhat similar. We're performing calculations, but the rows are not gonna be grouped into summaries. So let's try an example here. Let's say we have a list of employees along with their department and their age. And we wanna use group by to get an average age by department. So we're grouping by department. It's reducing the number of rows. With the window function, it's gonna be somewhat similar. We're still getting the average age by the department. We're just adding that as an additional field. So in this case, at the top here, we've got two employees from the admin department. You see their age and the average age for their department. Now let's look at how to write some of these window functions in SQL. So here's what the basic syntax could look like. I maybe select a couple of columns, and then in the third column is my window function. That window function can be an average, a sum, or something else. And then I say over, partition by a column. So split it up by a column. In this case, it's department, partition by department. And then I could also use order by, like order by the age maybe, give it from lowest to highest age. And then I add an alias, which is just the name of the field that I'm gonna use or I wanna use in the results. So let's go back to our example about average age across departments. If I wanna add a field in my results with the department average, what I might do is in my window function, say average age over partition by department because I want the average age by department and then maybe order it by age. So the age is from lowest to highest in ascending order. And in the results, put it in a department average column. Let's try a different example here. Let's say we're looking at salaries with these same employees. And instead of an average salary, maybe we want the total salary across a department. So we want a sum instead of average. So we might say as we're going to select the department and the salary, and then I want to sum the salary, this is my window function, over partition by department, because I want to sum salaries by department. And maybe I want to order the salaries descending from highest to lowest. And then I'm going to put the results in a department total field. Now let's look at a couple other ways to define our windows rather than using partition by. So let's say that we have a list of sales data and sales for every day. And what we want to do is add a field for cumulative sales. I want to add those sales up as the days go on. The way that I could write this is I could say I'm going to sum the sales in my window function over order by the date ID. And this is going to be important because I want the days in the right order, the first day to the last day. And then what I want you to do is you go through this list, sum for the rows unbounded preceding. Basically what the saying for any day sum the current day plus everything preceding it, unbounded preceding. And that's going to give us cumulative sales. And that's what we're going to put as our new field. Here's another way of doing this. We could actually do a three-day average. And so the way that we would write that is we could say average the sales and then over order by the date ID, because again, you want the days in the right order. And I want you to average rows between two preceding, two preceding rows, and the current row. And we'll put that in a new field called three day average. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the subscribe button. And if you're interested in a SQL cheat sheet, you can find one over at codybaldwin.com.